What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is keeping well and we are doing a weekly roundup. So every Thursday we do this on the channel as you can see here. Uh, you can go back every Thursday. We will have a weekly roundup of what's new. If you're not at your console or you're not able to check your phone or whatever, uh, this is a nice handy video where we keep short and sweet, where we're able to cover everything and just give you an overview of what's on offer this week. Look, there isn't going to be massive changes, I don't think, until V3.0. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of rinse and repeat of what we get. But we do get a new authentic match event. This is the first one that's been on in months. And obviously this ties in with the USL Championship and the MLS, I suppose, kicking back as well. So simply put this is a usl championship one you pick one of these teams um and you can try and win any of these against the ai uh the ultimate reward is only twenty thousand gp i don't know if that's even worth it to be honest let's forty thousand gp i mean i wouldn't get out of bed for that to be honest with you but um look it is what it is man it is what it is right in dream team itself uh we do have one or two changes in dream team events so you've got the worldwide clubs where you get your free encore stars we will get into that in a couple of seconds as well i will do a review on those it's already up on the channel but basically you get your free worldwide player of the week spin so your free player of the week spin as every week with the 3000 points and of course you can just sim those games j league was still ongoing north and central america is still ongoing you get the unlimited one so this is added here where it's your 50 e football coins and again all you need to do with that is to uh, play online in Dream Team um, and, cl and clear Challenge 1, 2, and 3. And then you get Skill Trainer. You get two Skill Trainers for Challenge 2. And then the 50 eFootball coins is the ultimate reward there. So they've kind of, um, yeah, they've kind of minimized that a lot. Obviously, the eFootball League is, is still ongoing, but that is going to be over on the 3rd of the 8th. You've got one more week in that if you haven't already played a lot of those or you get up. I would always recommend to get it to at least Division 2 if you can. It's a good gauge of, um, of where you're at. Then otherwise, lads, we do have a bit of news here. I have covered a lot of this stuff already. Um especially with this uh, with this stuff isn't really, you know, that's not going to affect anybody. There was a new visionary pass skill, uh, player skill added, which we'll get into. I have that done in the review as well. Um, these new uh, objectives here, the messy ones, they're still ongoing. You can see here what Messi's objectives, they're still ongoing there. Um, there's a couple of more added, obviously, as you unlock them. And then it's mostly just going to be about um, cards, lads, as we usually have here, right? So these visionary pass cards, um, these are kind of new. Uh, I have already talked about him in the player review, but I'll keep it short and sweet as we like to do. As I said, the Bruyne, Griezmann and Modric, they do have a new player skill. So it's called Visionary Pass, second from bottom there. And this is what it actually does, right? So if you want to go in and check it here, the actual definition of the the skill is here um, if you want to check it. But yeah, this, this kind of opens up a big talking point, which I'm going to get into on the live stream. Um, and I'm also going to get into in a specific video, right? So this, this opens it up here where you're talking about... Um, passing and they did have a game change in pass one where it improved the players passing abilities after the second half but this new visionary pass increases the accuracy of first time ball control one touch passes and one touch finishes of the players who receive the pass so if Modric or Griezmann or De Bruyne passes to Adriano or Haaland um, it's actually Adriano or Haaland that are going to get the boost and increase accuracy of first time ball control one touch pass and one touch finishes so that's going to be very interesting to see right that's a very kind of potentially game breaking or game changing type of one depending on how they balance it I've been kind of disappointed not disappointed but I don't think that there's been a reason so far to really spin for the, the showtime uh, players like Fortress and uh, game changing pass and um, you know, all of those kind of skills that they added, phenomenal finishing. I don't really think that they've really added them, but for eFootball 2024, they might come a little bit more uh, to the f to the forefront, right? We also have the player of the week. These are re-released players. They are working their way through the months. So you can see here that the link, these are from March 9th, and you can see all of these here. You've got Salah, you've got a couple of nice ones there. Um, Pavard, obviously we had a free version of Pavard if you got lucky enough with the spin or else the French uh, version of him. Um, there are a couple of nice cards in here if you've missed out, right? If you've missed out on a couple of these, there are some nice cards there, including this Cristiano Ronaldo goal poacher, which is a really nice card. His player ID is fantastic. He's got everything you could possibly want apart from unwavering form. Um, very, very nice card. You obviously aren't able to put on player skills on him, so to have one touch pass on him is really nice here. Um, and the rest of his stats are, are really, really decent. Uh, you have Liverpool's new sign-in. He's a good player as well. Um, kind of similar to, I would say, 
kind of similar to Gakbo as well. If you if you've played with him, uh, Casey, uh, you've got Declan Rice as well. We've had multiple versions of these. I will do a, a re-review on those for newcomers. But yeah, these are aimed at people that have not got these before. If you're looking for a decent left wing or left mid cross specialist, uh, this guy is a beast. And then you've also got the second pack um, that are the first pack, which have a few players in there as well that you can go through, uh, including, you know, Javi Simmons and Salah and Delict and those guys that you see there, right? Other than that, lads, that's pretty much it. We have nothing in the shop. We have nothing in anything else really new. I will, I do think that they will add some stuff, obviously, quite soon. Um, if, you know, I mean, you can see there that Inzaghi is going to be ending in six days. So uh, I think that this will tie in. This 20 days here, I'm not really you know too concerned about these these are too long um but these 20 days could be a good a good uh, a good indicator as to when we're going to get the next big update uh 20 days is like what two thirds is from now three thirds is from now um yeah so it'd be three weeks from now uh which would put us into like mid-august and that's when i think the new update will come and then there'll be a further update towards uh the middle of september or something like that so that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to clear your inbox as well from all your stuff, all your login bonuses and all that sort of stuff there. Um, and that's it for me. So hopefully this answers all your questions about what's new. And uh, yeah, what is and isn't new, I suppose, depending on how you look at it. But that's it for me. I'll talk to you later, lads. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in a live stream.